Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 3 Permadeath. We are over at Great Itch. Just picking off some ants as we can here. Trying to get them anyway. That one is indeed still moving. Wonder if I can just like draw him over here. Definitely I'm in range now. Am I doing any damage? Not much. <clears throat> I feel like they weren't that hard to, like, kill as long as I can get a headshot from sneak attack. There we go. They're not too bad. Mainly because they run very, very slowly. The Nectar is also really nice. That gives you, at least in the vanilla game, it gave you a nice strength boost. So that will be helpful. And the fact that they run straight at you and uh, they're very easy to line up a headshot on, you know? I did not make that jump. I'm gonna go up here and um, have a look around out these windows. Yep, we have more there. Nice. This is going a lot better. Oh, almost fell out there, but got out without uh, falling. That's good. I hear one. He's probably down there below, or maybe over there. Something died from something. Good thing these are like plinking rounds, right? I don't care too much about them. Pretty sure I can't go quite that high. I can't get up there. Okay, well that's good. That's the surrounding area cleared out, it looks like. Sorry, just adjusting my mic a little bit. Door to abandoned home. Will I find more ants in there, probably? There's a bunch over here.
Ah, oh, bless you, slow ants, giving me experience. Those soldiers are, n are no joke, though. Take quite a few shots. Nice gun, nice sneak attack hit there. Took him out nice and easy. These guys are pretty, pretty easy to take down. I think the better method is to get a little bit closer actually. Okay, so far, so good. Done pretty well. It's a diner here that I want to check out. Nuka Cola machine there. I might have some sweet Nuka juice for us. Yep, nice. Honestly, I don't want to sleep if I can, like, I want to play it off as long as I can. What's this funny suction hose for? Are you, like, some kind of crazy person? Is that, uh, Billy? The guy we talked to earlier? That was his name, right? Billy? Yeah, it's you. What is it, mister? Uh, never mind. Okay, so he's in, the, he's in the, uh, the shelter. That's good. That's a good place for him to be. Funny suction hose. Is that for, is that for, like, Taking a poo poo or a pee pee? I bet you it is. Okay, we're making nice progress now on our levels because we're actually getting some kills in and stuff. Alright. There's still more up on top, maybe? Around the back, maybe? Hello? Oh, didn't mean to p jump out of there, but okay. Okay, aside from my own idiocy, jumping out of a window and uh, hurting my leg, um, don't think I took any damage from these guys at all. Pretty, pretty easy so far, pretty tame. Just checking these abandoned buildings, you never know. Might find a stash of some goodies around here. Might also just be completely and totally empty with no reason for me to go in here. And there's another one over here. I hear him. Wow, I've gone through a hundred rounds of 10 mil, clearing these guys out. Maybe it was the wrong choice, but I have an abundance of ammo and a lack of healing items right now. Check the abandoned house here and see what's in here. Okay, there's not like 20 ants turning me in the face immediately. That's good, I guess. Good sign. You guys have a working stove or a campfire in here anywhere? Need to cook some food. Take the wrenches and hammers. I'll be real, real disappointed if the wrenches and hammers can't be used for, um... 
making weapon repair kits. That was at like 50 repair in New Vegas. Another hunting rifle. I should have brought the hunting rifle for this. The, the, ten, the 10 mil is a bit better than the, the hunting rifle, honestly. Um, I feel like the hunting rifle is definitely my... It's my plinking rifle, you know? It's not very good in combat, but if the enemies are really easy to take care of, that's a nice bit. Um, then uh, it's it's worth it, you know? Nice queen-size bed. Hey, this could be my house. Yeah, I don't think... Hey, this really works. Sorry, mouse is out of control. Okay. We got all the notable stuff in here. Did I check this one? Don't think I did. Honestly, don't remember, though. I think these are pretty much empty. Okay, so I'm trying to find the father. I guess I should look. This is great itch. Here's the abandoned house I was just in. Where else around here can I go? Maybe it's down towards that way. Feel like I should look around pretty thoroughly though. Nope, nothing up here. What was that hunting rifle? Yeah, it's pretty bad shape. I have no ammo for it either. I was going to say I could probably just switch to that for now. I don't want to go all the way back to get my hunting rifle out, but um, I wouldn't mind using that instead and using some of that 32 cal ammo because it's not very good for much else. And these guys seem to be weak enough and slow enough and dumb enough that I can take care of them with something like that instead. You know, if a couple 10 mil rounds will take him out, then the hunting rifle will too. Don't break my legs, game. Okay, it wasn't a very far drop, so it shouldn't have had much damage. Not sure I ever completed the Great Itch quest when I first played this game. I certainly wasn't playing it with all these mods and stuff, so I wasn't exploring the area thoroughly and stuff, you know? There's gotta be a hole somewhere. This is the abandoned house, right? Yeah. There's got to be a hole somewhere in the ground where their hive is at. Which I am going towards the marker, I'd assume. There's a shack over here and another band building over here. Oh, this, this is Wilkes house. Okay. Oh. Wow. I guess there was a big... a big fight over here. Well, they're all dead. E. Fred Wilkes. I got the shack key. That was the shack I probably just saw outside of here. Chinese assault rifle. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. The AK-47 of the Fallout 3 universe. Why they didn't port that over to Fallout 4 is beyond me. I love the Chinese assault rifle. 
Such a cool looking weapon, does good damage. Oh, this is way better than my regular assault rifle. Can I repair this with the regular one? I cannot. But I will be using it as much as I can, because I love the Chinese assault rifle. Does better damage. Better economy of firing, basically, on your ammo. Ooh, bunch of bunch of food. Okay. Alright. Couple nice beds here. 32 pistol. Just sell it off, I guess. I want to see if there's anything in there, but I guess not. Okay. If it gets to be nighttime, I'll just sleep over here, probably. Seems good to me, if I'm not done with the quest yet. So that's how we get in the shack over here. Is the shack what leads to, um... The nest? No, I guess not. What the heck is all this? They have a chem lab over here? Dr. Lesko's password recording. What? Well, this could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is for Mesida. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. But she probably also forgot. Okay, so what the hell is the doctor doing here? Dr. Weston Lesko, do not access without permission. Personal notes. Where did I go wrong? Batch A27 is a complete failure. I must return to my original formulas and begin the process all over again. Perhaps the pressure of working in these conditions without proper laboratory equipment is to blame. Perhaps I simply didn't splice the correct genetic instructions, or perhaps I am fatigued. Whatever the case may be, A27 is proving to be a disaster. I must introduce a new formula soon, or I may not be alive to see my hypothesis come to fruition. Sample location discovered. I've found the perfect specimen for my... What's it say? Investigate Marigold Metro Station and remove the source of the fire ants. Okay. I've found the perfect specimen, specimen for my experiments inside Marigold Station. I've set up a shop underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last-minute programming on my robot, and it will be ready to perform the delicate injections. Soon I will prove to everyone that my formula is a viable alternative to the destructive destruction of these misunderstood beings. He's trying to control them, or domesticate them. There's some kind of serum. Dangers. I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. I have heard the rhetoric and the hoopla about playing God. However, I am determined to reduce these poor things back to their original state when they were harmless. Only through genetic recording, recoding is this possible. All that is needed is a proper test subject. My search continues as I tweak the formula. Science robot command input, error out of range. Activate science robot, error pod empty. Okay, so this scientist is to blame. Note added Dr. Lesko's notes. Okay, zip so stop shop inside the underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a, la is a bit of last minute programming on my robot and I'll be ready to perform the injections. Okay, so he's trying to... He's trying to inject the ants. But instead, he just pissed them all off, I think. That's what it seems like. Science run amok. The common theme. Okay, so we didn't find the ant hole, but we found where it probably is. And where it probably is, is... Just over here. Not too far away. I want to see if there's anything else around here to look at before I move on. Anything I might have missed here. 
I think I'm probably done though, probably good. So I need to go and remove the ant infestation from wherever the marker is over here, whatever it is. Right, this is Lesko's shack. Yeah, okay. Okay, got it. Just over here? Um, anyone out there? Hello? Doesn't seem like that's right. Where is the... Okay, investigate the Marigold Metro Station, remove the ants, deliver the bad news. Okay, so let me go talk to Brian Wilkes, tell him his dad's dead, and then I have to go investigate Marigold Metro Station. Maybe he knows where Marigold Metro Station's at. I hope you have good news. Come on, tell me already. Have some bad news for you, kid. Oh no. What happened? Sorry, Brian, but your dad's dead. He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. I'll stop whatever started this, promise you that. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all. I'm feeling better now that you're here. If you look around enough in Great Itch, you might find some useful stuff people left behind. Yes, I have done that, and I have found most of the stuff. Okay, so I told Brian, as it give me the correct marker for... There it is, Marigold Station. Okay, that's where we're going next, guys. It's not too far away, so, um... Let me see if I can mark it on my map here. Yeah, just right-clicking it marks it. Cool. So yeah, we're going that way. Kind of sad that this has better uh, marking system than Fallout 4 does. Dehydration level has increased. Minor dehydration, okay. Can I just go back to the uh, metro... or the sewer way station and slurp some water out of the fountain over there? At least we have water taken care of then, kind of, you know? I can just eat lots of stuff. Okay, here's my record station. That was actually really easy to get to. I can just eat lots of stuff and, uh, you know, take care of that food that way. Okay, so, um, yeah, just more ants. That's fine. A bit more confined quarters here, but honestly, like, these guys are not hard to kill. This is like a proper level one quest, you know? It's a lot more reasonable for an inexperienced little adventurer like me. To take stuff on. I think one's over there coming at me right now. He's detected me. Just can't see him very well. Yeah, I see him there. It's a soldier. If I remember correctly, the soldier ants uh, breathe fire, and they are... You don't want to get close to them. Like... Yep, like that. Like that. Did I kill him? I think I did. My god, they take a lot of shots to take down that those soldiers do. I'm gonna have to switch over to the Chinese assault rifle, I think, because this 10 mil is not cutting it, at least for the, the soldiers. Okay, we need, like, everything right now. We need H2O, we need food. Am I bleeding? No, I'm good. Fire wouldn't make you bleed, or I shouldn't anyway, but who knows. Fire resist, hmm. That's actually pretty good. 
Mirelur cakes. It's gonna be a lot of food. Do I need that much food right now? No, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste that for right now. I have one of each of those though. I'm gonna try to. Oh, am I over encumbered now? Doesn't the ant nectar give you a bunch of strength though? So I lost something else. Sleep deprivation, maybe H2O deficiency. What did I take that made me was making me so low? Got any booze? That'll help. That's too much, huh? Okay, well, uh, I guess we're dropping something for now. Oh, I can get rid of some weight here, that's fine. Oh, okay, yeah, we're actually fine. Yeah, so any, um, soldiers, we're gonna switch to the Chinese assault rifle, I think. So, let's put that on to three. Have more ammo for that anyway, but... It's my best weapon, I don't want to use it unless I really need to. Hope it doesn't, like, actually shock me if I go over there. Another wrench for my pipe dream of making repair kits at some point in the future. Still can't do that, need to level up. Frag mines could be quite useful on these guys. This is like a big soldier and I'm gonna have to run. The workers are fine. That's a soldier. I could use mines too, I guess. Can they go past? They can go past here, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do mines. Not sure if he'll hit the other one or not, but he, he'll shoot, he should hit the one in the doorway. Something died. Just gonna wait. That's a flamethrower sound. Is he like stuck in the wall? Oh no. It's like all my carry weight stuff. Uh, wait, I'm fine though, I have... Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Over here. Over here. There we go. There's one of them anyway. I think the, the display is bugged out. I think I actually have... Well, he eventually ran over it, I guess. Okay. Very good, very good. Does the Nectar give you minus four strength? Did I read that wrong? I thought it was plus four strength. No, it's agility plus four and minus three int. Okay. Thought they gave you strength. Nothing wrong with a couple of frag grenades. And we got some... I could have had them blow themselves up, maybe. If I had got them to use their attack over here. Is this a lawnmower blade? Yeah, I have I have those at home. I got those back at the base. We don't need any more. Do 
got to be a queen around here somewhere. It's the blue line. Now, I wouldn't expect any traps or anything around here. Okay, everything's wearing off. Got it. Because these are ants, after all. They're not that intelligent. Wonder if we're going to find Dr. Lesko, his remains anywhere. Or his robot. Speaking of... Could this be the good doctor? No, it's just some corpse. Just some gnawed-on corpse. Actually, I want to put my weapon away. Yeah, we gotta go back to the station at some point. What time is it, actually? Yeah, it's 8.55. Or no, um... 7.55. So yeah, 8, 8 o'clock, basically. I can go on for a little bit longer, but I really need to go back pretty soon. Get some water, get some sleep. Then probably... Yeah, probably call it a day for, uh... This particular in-game day. Grady's last recording. If you're listening to this tape, ah. then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gerner Shade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet at Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Who is they? Who is Grady? I forgot to listen to this one too. Give me a second, I'll do that. I just want to dump some stuff here if I can to make some room. Or repair some stuff will work too, I guess. Too bad you can't repair the Chinese assault rifle with the Chinese pistols, because they're kind of worthless otherwise. I don't really even need to take that with me, but... Eh, whatever. Um, one more could quantum, I guess, to get some sleep restored, and... Guys, we are 100% full. So although I want to go further in, I don't have the carry weight for it, and I think I'm going to go back. So we have a secondary objective here. Um, did that give me a quest? Or is that just like a... Yeah, I don't think I have an actual quest for it, but he said to go, in, to go into the fire hose container, the big red fire hose things, one of those, and I would find the key that opens the safe. I have to listen to the message again, but he said I'd find the key that would, it would give me the safe that would give me the package, and I'd have to get the package to Grady. Or to someone else, I forget. And then... Yeah, that's the idea. And there's a different way I can go over here, too. But guys, I'm gonna go back, I think, and probably, um... Probably get out of here. There's a lot to explore down here. And we're at least cleared all the way up to here. I can fast roll back here as well if I need to. To get back here pretty quickly. But we are... We need some sleep, some radiation removal. I don't know if I have any more right away or not. Might have to go and buy some radiation removal from the doctor. Not sure how economical that is, like how it compares. But uh, we know where we're going over here, so we can come back and finish this. Can't believe I missed that. And I can't believe I can't carry it. Uh, I can't believe I can't carry it, but yeah, it's... Um Okay, I'm going to put that back in here for now, so I'll just get those later. 
Yeah, store stuff and then maybe think about, um... Put all of them in there, it's fine. Think about maybe selling some stuff, too. But yeah, it's getting pretty late. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel back over... So we got that unlocked. I'm gonna fast travel back over to Super Duper Mart. Or no, I'm gonna go to the sewer way station first and get a drink. Fill up my belly with water. And then we'll go to Super Duper Mart and sleep over there. And then, uh head back in the morning. Hopefully this remains cleared out for us. What's up, Wastelanders? You scared me, three dog. You scared me. Oh, these are actual beers. I thought they were just beer, empty beers. This one before. Heard that previously. He's talking about us, of course. That's what they do in this game. They talk about you on the radio. Yes, go to Super Duper Mart. Sleep for the night. Then we're going to be super hungry. Unfortunately. But that's just how it goes. So we're going to stash and sleep and then uh, see what I've got as far as radiation removal. Might have to go to uh, Megaton and get that some of that removed. So this one. I think I need that many grenades. You know... Thought about taking the hunting rifle instead. I think I'll use a 10 mil for now. I'll keep using it for now. Alright, we got a lot of ant meat that I... I'd like to cook it, but I don't know where to cook it at, so... I have to look it up online, honestly. That stuff I can sell as well. My alert cakes I'll use in the morning whenever I get up. Give me some health back and stuff, and then it'll be good. Stuff that would be nice, but I don't know if I want to use it for, like, ants. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Something might warrant that. I'm going to probably just save my dirty water and stuff. And beers and stuff. All the hydration stuff. I can just go fill up my belly with water over there at that... Uh, That place, yeah. How are we doing on the rads? Oh, it's quite bad. Yeah, it's quite bad. And I don't think I have any more rad away. No, so we're gonna have to go into town and get our rads removed, I think. So I'll keep some of this stuff on me, and uh, I'll sell it later on, I guess. I mean, these are 35 each. I could just sell all these, probably. Uh, the agility is kind of nice. Fire is just kind of nice. Maybe I don't want to sell all of them, but... Um, could sell a bunch of them, probably. A lot of this stuff I can sell, too. I don't want to get rid of the... Stuff that I might be able to use for making into, um, repair kits. If that's a thing, I don't even know. It might be. Ammo wise, we're gonna do that and that. And we'll keep the 5.56 in the 10 mil. Oh, God, voice is cracking. Anything else I want to take here? I think we're good. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. Go sleep in our nice bloody mattress. Um, eight hours. We're going to bed kind of early, to be honest. Eight hours is going to put us at like 4 a.m., but it'll take a while to fast roll over Megaton and stuff. Um, 
Maybe do nine hours, and we don't have to wait too long. It's fine. It's gonna be really hungry when we wake up and thirsty. So how much does that increase my hydration stuff? A lot. It makes us really thirsty. It makes us a little bit hungry. Not like super... It's not that bad as far as like hunger goes. It's pretty reasonable. But like... I mean, I guess I could just drink like one dirty water and I'd be okay. It's not really that bad. Still can't do that ammo box yet. I could sell that uh, raider armor as well. Not gonna use that for anything. Anything else I want to sell? Beers aren't even worth that much, so. Okay, let's get out of here and go get our radiation removed. It's still morning. Early, early morning. We're gonna get a megaton. I'm gonna have to wait for the doctor to be in, and then we can barter and stuff with him. I believe it's 8 a.m. What's up? Alright, so we just wait for a couple hours. I believe it's 8 a.m. Unfortunately, have to waste like a half of an hour here. Not there yet. Looking for a campfire. There's got to be some way to cook food. I have to look it up. Be a doctor. When's the doctor get in? What time is it? It's 8 a.m. Shouldn't the doctor be in by now? You doctor? No, you're Lucas Sims. You're looking for the mayor or the sheriff? Looking for the doctor. Moira can remove rads, but... I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it with the doctor. Uh, haven't been there yet. Let me trade stuff. Do some of those, do some of that. Do a couple of those is fine. Maybe I should meet, use more Radex whenever I'm out and about. But like, I haven't had an issue, like a time where I need specifically a bunch of radiation resist. It's just like from eating and stuff, you know. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, I got some stuff. What do, what do you have as far as ammo goes? Okay, uh, these are not that bad. Two caps each for 5.56. It's pretty good ammo, honestly. I'll, I'll take them. I mean, it's not a lot, but I'll take them. Two for the 10 mil seems like kind of a ripoff, so I'm going to pass on that. And two for the 5 mil is certainly a ripoff. Don't hurt yourself. How much? Ooh, 295 caps, but it gives me a 4% damage boost on the Chinese Assault Rifle. Uh, four more damage per shot is pretty significant. That's uh, almost a 20% damage increase. Yeah, it's 23% damage increase, actually. Well, 23% 23, 23 more condition, and it's, a, it's about a 20% damage increase. It's not bad at all. But it's a lot. Um... This thing, too, would be a lot better off if I repaired it, but... Do I want to spend the caps on that? 
It makes my ammo more efficient, though. This gives more DR if it's repaired, but I don't care that much about that. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Oh, that was so expensive. I hope I still have enough to get rid of my ads. Hopefully a doctor's in now. I thought he was open at 8 a.m. like uh, Moira was. I thought all the vendors were open at like 8 a.m. We're all still breathing. Don't even so I know you didn't screw up. You got something on your mind. No, not that. Not that. Um. Please, are you open now? There we go. I guess he opens at 9 a.m. Boy, you're glowing like a goddamn reactor core. You need help? Yeah, I do. Um, can you hear my radiation? Sure can. Quick and easy. Only 100 caps. And a quick shot. All done. Okay. I guess that's that's fine then. Uh, medical supplies. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're you. What do you got? Do you sell doctor's bags? Have dirty water for really cheap. That could be handy. Um, yeah, I have doctor's bags. They're pretty expensive, though. I have two right now, so I don't have to buy any more right now, but in the future, maybe. Lots of stim packs are also very expensive. I've got to remember, like, whenever I'm, I'm hitting the stim pack, it's 132 caps I'm wasting, basically. If I have to buy them. I couldn't sell them for that much, so yeah. Okay, I don't need any of this stuff right now. He does have bandages too, though, if I start to run low. I'm, I'm at two left, so... I don't plan to take any damage... ...when I'm out and about, you know? I'm gonna check. Is there a campfire, like, right outside of, uh, Megaton? Were you just kidding about disarming? I was just kidding. I was totally joking, Lucas. You want me to just blow it up? You gonna keep pushing me? Because I can. That freaking mole rat head. It's following me, guys. It's following me around. Is there one out here by where this guy is? Megaton. Enjoy your stay. Maybe I have to get a mod that adds campfires. Hey, yourself. Please. I'm dying. I need water. It's not my problem, old man. Oh my god, here it is. Here's the campfire. Yes! Yes, I'd like to cook things. Okay, so I just need rad roach. Uh, squirrel stew, what do I need? Crispy squirrel bits and water. Caravan lunch. Pork and beans, instant mash, crams, and lunchbox. Okay. What is steamed punja? Uh, punja fruit or refined punja fruit in a cooking pot. Okay. Okay, so I can come back here, yes, and cook up my rad roach meat. At the very least, I can do that. Come come back here and cook up my rad roach meat. I can't do, um... Well, I can't do, uh... Whatchamacallit, um... Ants, unfortunately, but I can do rad roach meat. That's good. Am I hungry right now? I'm very well, I'm very thirsty. Um, I don't have any rad roach meat on me, unfortunately. Okay, well, at least I know where one is. I went right by it and I didn't know about it. Okay, so that's fine. All right, I'm gonna go back to the uh, sewer waste station. I can always just eat some ant meat raw, I guess, if I need to. I'm gonna go back to the sewer waste station and drink a bunch of water and get more rads. So I can pay the doctor to remove more rad away, or to remove more rads. And the cycle continues. Do beer remove rads? I think maybe they do. I think I sold all mine though. I think alcohol slowly removes your rads in Fallout 3. Maybe like kind of like uh, dust in Fallout 4 or Frost do. Oh. The truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Up next, we've got a public service announcement. Yeah! Listen up, children. This stuff's important. 
Remember, children, when the raiders come, there ain't no shame in locking your doors, barricading the windows, and cowering under the nearest bed. When these psychos come to play, they have one thing on their minds. Maybe Even like one more. As fucking miserable as humanly possible. Well, we still have a lot to go here. Okay, there we go. I think our stomach is properly sloshingly full with water, finally. Okay, so back to the Marigold Station we go. And we'll go deeper in and get this infestation taken care of. And now we have our... Much nicer, much higher damage Chinese assault rifle. Which I can't wait to get high enough repair skill to repair it ourselves. Should be all clear through here. We can go down this way, actually. Very far. Oh wait, does this go... Okay, so we went kind of the long way around, I guess, to go over here before. I see. Okay. So we came in over there. Nothing over this way, I don't think. And that's up where we found the... Uh, the tape talked about where we're supposed to go. This is not where we came in from. We, we came in from over here, I think. Pretty sure. So we need to go back through this way. This is the only way I can go. So it's got to be over here, right? There's a ant right there. Yeah, I see him. Good lord. Why are you taking so much damage? They got grenades or anything? I think I sold a bunch of them. That bounced all over the damn place. My god, that took a lot. Why were you so tanky? Other ones weren't that bad. Well, explosives seem to do the job, but I didn't bring that many. I mean, I can go back. I don't really want to blow through all my ammo. Another ammo crate I can't get into. A silenced pistol. Can be sneaky and stealthy. Ooh, a sledgehammer. How much damage is that? 
only 11, huh? Yeah, it's like as much as my Chinese officer sword, but my sword is a lot more DPS, a lot quicker to swing. There's a worker. I'll try out the silence 10 mil. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Only, it's only one less, though. It's a soldier, too, actually. does no damage. Am I clipping on something? What's the deal here? Why does it do no damage? I have 44 Magnum too. I have some 44 rounds. 17 per shot's a lot better. Well, that's a lot better. I think it's just they have a decent amount of armor, and it's hard to get through their armor. Yeah! That's more like it! Blow his freaking head off. That's a lot better. It's a lot more reasonable damage. I go outside here. Metro access. Falls Church. I do kind of want to explore over there. I guess I'll see what's over here real quick. I have to go back in and finish clearing out the ants, but can check over here real quick. Uh, okay. I take it back. I'll, I'll just go back inside then. No, thank you. I have no mines left. If I had a mine, I would drop it over there. But, uh... I'll close that up too. Okay, apparently sticking my head out there was a real bad idea. This is dangerous. They could be real close around the corner here. Did that even get him? Oh! Ooh. What? What happened? I guess that blue... I guess it did go through, but I, I don't know what happened there. Ah! Eee! Whoa! Run! No! Uh, I'm on fire! Uh, have some nectar! Get some fire resist. Drink some stuff, eat some stuff. He's got some range on that. Okay, it is going through there. I wasn't sure. I 
There's one dead. That's dead. That's blown up too. Okay. There was a worker over here. Did I kill the worker? Something's still mad at me because I'm still in danger. Scrap metal. Oh, never mind. I'm not now. Ooh, very nice. Frag mines. Perfect. Okay, I hear the skittering down here. There's more of them. William Brainus's key. Laser pistol and a bunch of ant meat. Does that come up anywhere? Is it, is it a note? I mean, it's not a note, obviously, but like, does it, where does it show? Just curious if, if there's any information about the key. It tells me what it looks like or anything. I don't think so. I think key items... Oh, it's my key ring. That's right. There we go. Okay, yeah, it just says William Branson's key. Okay, I guess we'll find out... Later on, what that goes to. Maybe. Should probably do something about this freaking low health here. I mean, I hate to use our stim pack, but. What else can I do? Gives me a lot of rads, but it does heal me quite a bit. I got plenty of uh, mines now. I hear the bubbling of a chemistry station. Perhaps. Ah! Jesus Christ! You scared me, man. Till you startled me. You scared me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. Didn't expect to bump into anyone alive down here, man. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. But do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? How about we start the experiment by decorating the wall with your brains? Um, you call this a laboratory? I've chosen this room as a temporary retreat from which to contemplate my erroneous figures for my experiments. It may be a bit dark and damp, but such annoyances will not stand in the way of science! I know what he means by experiments, but let's hear it from uh, the doctor himself. My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist, how marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Okay. Can we skip the story and get the solution? Oh my, I suppose I do tend to ramble on about all things academic. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage I've caused. So what do you need? My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Why not just kill her and be done with it? If I were to do that, months of data would be lost. No, no, the queen must remain completely unharmed. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Ooh, filthy little abominations. And how will this undo all the mayhem you've caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? Books aren't going to buy me new ammunition. Why can't man follow the ants' example? 
They work together as a team, every waking moment dedicated to the colony. They require no wealth or material items. Everything they need is provided for them by their fellow insects. But I digress. If it's payment you need, all I can offer is one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers. Mutagenic bio-what? I've managed to isolate some of the fire ant genes and distill them into human-safe genetic enhancers. I can inject you with one of these formulas and you'll find yourself with either enhanced strength or enhanced perception. Not only that, but you'll be somewhat more resistant to fire. How marvelous! Okay, if it'll stop the ants from bringing down Great Itch, I'll do it. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Wait, I'm gonna say my work is done. Um, I haven't killed any nest guardians yet in the hatchery. Uh, what else can you tell me about these fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. How'd you go from changing their size to them breathing fire? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Why well, anything special hurt the ants? I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Just aim for their antennae if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. So how the heck can they breathe fire? The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw I call its calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? Let me ask you something else. Yes? What do you know about Brian Wilkes? Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. He had no regard for the importance of my work. Can't you take responsibility for his father's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Don't you realize you ruined his entire life? You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. Could have at least told him you were alive. You thought he was alone. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? Okay. So about these experiments. Oh my, yes. They're quite marvelous. There are many that say it can't be done, but I'll prove them wrong. And what was the goal exactly? By introducing my mutagen directly into an ant egg, I hope to reduce the size of the adults. This is a generational system, meaning it will take quite a few broods before the ants are at their destination size. In the end, I hope to make them as small as they were over 200 years ago. And how can I destroy the mutagen? Destroy? Oh, no, no, no! 
You mustn't do that. It's my life's work. Just clear me a path to my equipment and I'll do the rest when you tell me it's safe. Ah, <sighs> crazy scientists. Okay, I gotta go now, Doc. Finally, a chance to recant my mistake. How marvelous. I'm, uh gonna come in there and check out your lab and uh, take whatever I want basically just just so you know Which honestly might not be a whole lot here but your noodles those are gonna go with me this guy's lying to me just say you better not be Half of a um, caravan lunch right there. Okay, alright guys. Well, I think we're at a good stopping point for this episode. So next time we're going to go and meet the Ant Queen and kill her guardians. And then uh, talk to this guy and see if his plan actually works. Or if we have to just kill him and kill everybody else. Or all the other ants down here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.